Hey guys! So, you're probably wondering why I'm naked again. And the truth is, I'm already running out of funny reasons to give you, and it's only episode 4. It's Body Talk Tuesdays. On this week's episode, I really want to talk about the gay community and our identities. Now, I think this one only applies to the men, so I am sorry ladies, but I try to only talk about what I know through my experiences. Anyways, in my world, we literally identify ourselves by our body type. If you're thin, you're a twink. If you're big, you're a bear. And there's literally a thousand subcategories in between. Now, don't get me wrong, I have no problems with self-identification, however, my issue here is you don't really get to choose your box. If you're a bit bigger, you're placed into the bear box, and that is that. God forbid a boy who has more than one identifying quality. But the thing is, we'll then go out and search for the box that we're looking for without any room for variation. We've literally created ourselves this system that everyone just has to follow. And I'm not even looking at you, Grinder. My other issue is the pressure to stay within our box, or work our asses off to get into another. No one likes a twink who decided carbs was a good idea today. But actually, I've had twink friends who basically set up tents in the gym just to bulk up just to get out of that box, only to fall into the athletic jock stereotype. Now, it worked for them, and they're super happy, so props to them, but their motivation to do it was just so wrong. How does being placed in a box by your community, and then having that community ridicule you for it, even make sense? I'm here to tell you it doesn't. If you want to self-identify as an otter, you go, girl. If you like fake tanning and skipping out on breakfast and lunch, you do you, man. But let's stop forcing ourselves into these boxes and then hating on those who aren't in our own. We all get enough shit from outside sources. We really don't need to shit on ourselves. Unless you're into that. Question time! Peter asks, what's your opinion on fad diets? Juice cleanse, no carbs, paleo diet, etc. Certain diets work for certain people, I just never found that they worked for me. However, I do do a cleanse that you can get at Shoppers. I do it maybe once or twice a year, just whenever I feel like my body needs a little kickstart. Never deprive your body of something it needs without the proper substitution. You're just going to end up doing more harm. Thanks, Peter! If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below or tweet them to me at Sunday Special with the hashtag BodyTalkTuesdays. Bonne nuit, mes amis! I will see you next time. Okay, love you guys. Bye!